Hello, and welcome to Stats Race Lens. Today, we're going to learn how to use preset angles in order to create new angles more efficiently. The ability to create, manage, and edit angles is one of the most powerful tools within Stats Race Lens. However, creating angles can take time, and this is why we created the Edit Angle feature in order to save you time while handicapping. So first, to access the Angles section, we simply click the Manage Angles button on the top right corner of the home screen, in the Today's Races section here. So we click Manage Angles, and here we see all our angles. So right now, all of my angles are activated, but you can activate or deactivate however you wish. But let's say I wanted to find out the success rate of first-time starters with a recent bowl at work when the trainer has a really good win percentage with first-time starters. So normally in order to do that, we click Create New Angle, and then go through all of the criteria here. But the fast way to do that is find a preset angles, and we have 106 preset angles. You'll see the 120 number because I've created some of my own already, but yeah, we have 106 preset angles for you guys to work with. And we can search for a similar one that we can edit and maybe create this angle a little bit faster. So we were looking for first time starters, so I'll type in first time, and oh, I already see one pop up. First time starters, with a five furlong bullet workout in the last week. So I click on that, and there's the angle right there. And when I click on that angle, we see the angle criteria. And if I click the edit pencil in the top right corner, I can edit all those specific criteria. So we'll go from bottom to top here. First thing I see is the uh, sprint distance. That doesn't make much of a difference to me. Um, so I'm gonna eliminate that piece of criteria. First time starter, I do want that. And then the bullet workout, I uh, don't really necessarily care that it's five furlongs, but I do want it recently, so within seven days is good. So what I'll do with that is edit, and then say less than or equal to one mile. So that'll pretty much cover all workouts. And then I wanted to add the trainer stat. So we'll click on stat, trainer, Scroll down to days between starts, first time starters, and we'll say the win percentage is greater than or equal to 10%. That's a pretty decent percentage for first time starters. So we'll click add criteria, and now we have our angle. And I'm going to label this one the perfect first time starter, because that's kind of what this angle is meant to define. Now that I have it named, I will scroll down and click Save. And then I want to see actually how it does. So I'll click Back Test, and then we wait to see how it goes. So once it's ready to go, you click the Alert button, and then you'll see Back Test Result for the perfect first time starter has been generated. We click on that, and we'll see this angle has 111 total races, 115 total starters, 25% win percentage, a success score of 7.3%, and an ROI of negative 20%. So now I'm a little bit more knowledgeable when I handicap those maiden races with a lot of first-time starters. So that was how to use preset angles in order to create new angles more efficiently within Stats Race Lens. Have a great day, everybody.